What is going on guys? We are here to bring you guys another video. Today, it's actually a pretty cool one because I recently picked up a Type X bumper. It was really cheap, it was like a hundred bucks. And if you know anything about these bumpers, they're not, they're not super expensive, but they're not that cheap. So we had to pick it up. We were actually gonna go try and salvage a lip that one of our friends left at uh, at home. He moved back, he moved down to Florida to start a new life. Jonathan, we miss you. Uh, but he did leave us a lip and the problem with the lip is it's a fiberglass lip It's not an OEM one and it's cracked in half So what we're trying to do is we are going to try to fiberglass the two pieces together and save us some money because obviously BM speed stars Budget build here. We are in the auto body supply section and it's like sandpaper paint and all that stuff down here They have all these five this stuff for fiberglass and we just need the kit because the lip is not really a um, big area, so it's just cracked in one little spot. So all we need is this and we should be good When you get the kit, this is what you get open the box you get a nice little mixing tray fiberglass Sheet itself lozenge click in case you want to check your throat and then <laughs> And this little uh, mixer spreader type thing to flatten the fiberglass sheet when like after you lay it down and a bottle of resin of course this What is this hard? Hey Hardener. Hardener, yeah. Hardener, right? To make it hard like that. Oh, God. Okay, so here is the lip that is in question. Here's the second piece. And now, it looks like it was already repaired in that same exact area. How ironic where it broke. So we got to sand off all of these loose little bits right here. So it's nice and smooth, at least enough for the fiberglass sheet to lay over uh, so that you can connect these two again. So the next part, right here, as you can see, we applied this adhesive device <laughs> called tape. I'm sorry. <laughs> we, just put some, we just put some tape on the outside to hold it just to find out where we want it. This is pretty much as good as we are going to get. We are by no means at all professionals in any way. So don't really expect too much of this, but that way you can get a gist of what we're doing. <laughs> What's the guy from Breaking Bad? The guy from Breaking Bad. I didn't watch that show. The old man? Yeah, what's his name? Heisenberg. Know. I'm about to Heisenberg this right here, ready? So every one ounce, Please. roughly, every one ounce of resin. You know how much one ounce is? Yeah, that looks like a shot. Roughly an ounce. That's definitely way more than an ounce. It's 10 drop. 10 drops of resin. Keep it down over there. So 10 drops of resin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just a couple more for good measure. <laughs> this, you gotta check your lozenge. It's actually for mixing this. So you mix it up real quick. I still don't know why you put it in that fucking plastic. Because now we're gonna paint. So we're gonna Bob Ross this. Who's that? The guy with the afro? Yeah, that's the guy with the afro. So we're gonna painty paint right here. The happy little trees. Put some happy little tree right there. That's a happy tree. We'll put a river. Put a river right here. Boom. Boom. You wanna lightly go over the area real quick so that the fiberglass has somewhere to stick. Okay, next, take one fiberglass sheet. You just go lay it down. It's always better to go more on each side than to have less. So now that it's on there, take a little squeegee. We'll squeeze out some of these air bubbles. Oh my God, this is so strong. Oh God. Uh, so now that it's kind of stuck on there, I'm going to put on some more. I don't know if this is correct, but this is what I did last time and it worked. So it should work again. So hopefully it works again. That's Wait. the first one. Uh, so here are the two sheets that we just, we, uh, we cut out previously. And uh, this that has like the resin and stuff on it already. So now we are going to wait for that to dry. 
dies, it dries roughly in like, I don't know, 10 to 15 minutes. So we're just gonna wait. 10 to 15 hours. This is an example of a side that was already done. So like, as you can see, that's that was like an air bubble right there. It's like, it'll hold up. No matter, I think, no matter what, it's gonna work. Yeah, okay, sure. So that's looking way better already than the first time. I did fiberglass one other time uh, and it was on a body kit and that, that situation was really severe. Like there was a, there was huge chunks missing out of the bumper. Um, it didn't come out smooth at all because we just got lazy and we were like, let's just put it on the car. Yeah, a picture of it? Yeah. I'm going to put a picture of it right here. And so as you saw right there, it was kind of bumpy, but this one, I have a good feeling. This one's looking really good. So after letting this dry for around like 20 minutes, it's like structurally kind of one piece. You see that? Do you guys see that? Here we are, we need more materials. Since it's a little warm out and we have another place to work, we're actually going to Justin's house. We are going to try to finish it today, why not? Should we get the purple one or the red one? I think they're the same thing, right? So where's that, where's that Rust-Oleum black? There it is. This is, is this a gloss? No, it's not ultra heat, this is what we need though. This is a perfect match for any Nissan black. Anything, I paint my whole car with this. And it matches little little parts, not the whole car, right? So uh, let's go to Justin's. I don't know which one's <laughs> All right, we're now here at Justin's, and we're gonna get ready to scuff this up so that we can lay the bondo on it and then kind of finish it up. <laughs> Handsome boy. <laughs> what are we even mixing it on? Um, no, 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 no. <laughs> Wait, didn't I give you a? The, the, the tool? Oh, it's in the car. Oh, you know what? We're already here. Yeah, but that's just that probably dirty, bro. Give that a little clean. Oh. Yo, it's so strong smelling. Oh my god, it smells so strong. Yo, let's, <laughs> let's Yo, open. This is so ghetto. Let's open the garage a little more. It thin coats I'm at sure. first. So just drag it over. Five minutes away, maybe. Um, really, folk, press in those main areas first. This is looking better already. This people around the world are cringing at the fact that we're doing it right there. Smooth it out. Okay, so we're at this point now. If you can see, the bondo dried up, so we were able to sand it back. It's nice and smooth. This is probably the best you're ever going to see us do body work. This is never, this is unheard of for me, at least. I do terrible stuff. But it looks terrible. No, it doesn't. Look, but these little crevices, that's time for a second thing of Bondo, but really thin, just for those like areas where it's like that. Like blah, 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 blah. So we put the final layer of Bondo on. That's what it's looking like. It's much smoother because we used a, a old credit card of mine and now it's like really good. So this is gonna sand out and be pretty much uh, the final product. DM at night. DM at night. Okay, we're waiting for, we're waiting for the Bondo to dry. We went to go get some food. We ordered these hot wings by accident. They, these weren't supposed to be these hot. Whatever, here we go. We're gonna try it. How are you feeling? <laughs> It's the light? No. How you feeling, bro? It hurt. Oh my god. You good? No. <laughs> my lips are fire. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, hot, hot. Oh. oh, it's so hot. No, it's hot. Keep drinking, keep drinking, yo. Point nine. Yo, this is borderline not right. My eyes, yo. Every single one of us have it. My eyeballs are sweating, bro. Come it's on, so yo. Hot. Take another one. Bite it. Okay, so after that very long dinner, it is now roughly 1 a.m. We're all pretty tired, and we came back. And the lip, I've been sanding it for the past couple of minutes, and let me tell you, it is now done. There are a couple dimples on it. There's one right there, and there's one right there, but the crack is no longer visible. This is the final result. <laughs> <laughs> so the rest of it 
Well, you are. But this is the most important bit. This was in two pieces and now it's in one. What is going on guys? It is a new day. We are nice and freshened up. We're nice and awake. After all the festivities last night, we've actually got some work done. We sanded the lip one last time, got it nice and smooth, and it honestly doesn't look that bad. We painted it in the dark, which is, which I don't know, was kind of a mistake, but we got it done. We got it on the car, and this is what it looks like. It does not look half bad. <laughs> Fitment came out really good. It's nice and tight around all the edges. Right there was where the crack was, and as you can see, it came out pretty decent for some like weekend job that that's like my second time ever using fiberglass, second time ever using Bondo, painting in the dark, letting the Bondo cure for less than it should. In my opinion, it looks pretty good. Let us know how what you think in the comments. I love it. I've always wanted to do Type X stuff, but I don't have the money. Things just work out that way, and you get lucky sometimes. We got that bumper for cheap, $120 for the bumper, like $30 in materials, paint, Bondo, fiberglass, and a bunch, a bunch of good times, laughter, and a lot of inhaling of the fiberglass fumes, which definitely helped. Just kidding, it didn't. Until next time, if you enjoyed this, like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Peace out. Bye.